Hey everyone, it's Speed Jose Pretty Deer. Back again. I made a little trick that I created. I don't know if it's that good or not, but oh, so you all let me know. I took the liberty of pointing the jokers in the blank card, putting them aside. And I'll just allow the spectator to suffer the cards until they are satisfied. Select. Well, I'll show you first of all the pack is completely mixed up and stuff there. And now, just allow them to select any card they like. Let's see this one right here. Alright, and now I'll expect that you can cut the cards wherever he wants. Place the card. There it is. Right there. And I'll complete the cuts. Excellent. And now, I'll that you can actually cut the cards as many times as they want until the little heart is satisfied. Just like so. And now I'm going to go through the deck and make some predictions. prediction and we'll make this a prediction. Alright. And I'll just give back just a couple of cuts. Oops. This makes everything above it. Okay now my first predictor as I call them is the five of diamonds. That tells me your card is a red card, correct? Excellent. The next card is the two of hearts. That tells me your card is a heart. And the last card is the ace. That tells me your card is actually the ace of hearts. Wrong? What do you mean wrong? I'm going to be wrong. Hmm. Well, okay. Fortunately, I built in a backup plan to this trick, and that is if I add up the values of all three cards, that gives me a new value for your selection. So 5, 2, 7, and yes, it is 1 equals 8. And since we know the heart is the suit of your card, the total value of these cards, which is 8, must be the value of the card, the 8 of hearts, correct? Alright, I knew, I knew that would work out the backup plan. Now, if I could only find your card, right? Well, what's this? I'll just give the pack a little, a little dribble and a, a little riffle as it's today and a snap, and the deck is set up. And now if I just deal down eight cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, your selection appears. Let me know what you think, and if you want, I can do a tutorial once you figured it out. It's not that hard to figure out. It's a pretty simple trick. Uh, a little bit of news: there's a few things going on that you may want to know about. There's a new deck coming out from the website encoded.com, which is a new magic website. And the new deck is the Tendril, and it's just started on Kickstarter, and I recommend you check it out, it's a really nice looking deck. I'll post a link to the website, and they'll have a link to their Facebook and whatnot on that website, as well as their Kickstarter. Or you can go to kickstarter.com and search it, and you'll find it. <coughs> or search playing cards and you'll find it. Like I said, it's a pretty amazing deck. And I think shipping in the U.S. is free, so win-win, I guess, for the U.S. And the other one is Skullcore.com. 
skull cord up to my full story. Uh, another interesting new, I guess, magic company. With a deck coming out as well. Definitely check them out. Also, for those of you who like the B acorn back decks, there's some new ones coming out. The black acorn backs. I know that PM Poke World already has them. I assume that One Eye Jack will have them soon. As well as Poke Stud 52 and others. There's also a very limited edition silver acorn back. The main one is the black acorn, which is black and silver. But the, the other one is silver with black. And I just like the other acorn backs, except new colors. And I've gone ahead actually and become a member of, of the Conjuring Arts, which is a group that produces these decks. <clears throat> of course, membership is like 95 bucks. I think that's for the year. Better not be for a month. <laughs> well, I'll be canceling right away. Actually, if that was a lifetime, that'd be great. But anyway. And then I purchased a brick. That's the first brick I've ever bought of any deck. A brick of the black acorn back so I could get a silver acorn back for free. Pretty good deal, I think. It wasn't too, too expensive. <coughs> and definitely I'll be selling some of them and keeping some for contest prizes and or giveaway prizes. Anyway, this one I passed that along on half links down below for Tendril. Pretty in card website where you can get the Tendril and to the Skull Core website. And also, I will be doing a review on this coming up soon, comparing it to the Theory 11 version, because this is the USPC version. See you next time. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and let me know what you think about the trick and if you want to see a tutorial.